Hey, hey everyone. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> ah, live, live videos. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we're going to do some bullhead studies. So let's get right into it. Just pull up my references over here. I had hoped that my my countdown will have made have gone longer than three seconds. So I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping here and Just a moment, I want to Okay, so here we are. I think we're gonna start with this one, the, what was it, the thumbnail. So we're using Photoshop, as always. And yeah, I don't have much to add apart from welcome to the to the stream. Anyone who's new, anyone who isn't new, welcome still. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with a rough sketch. Maybe I shall say some few things when I why I'm doing this is because there are there is an illustration I'm currently working on when I say currently I mean I want to work on because apparently this week I haven't drawn much but here it is Here is the sketch that I developed a week ago. And it's from a, what's it called? It's from a, a prompt. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. The prompt I got was a priest with a lasso. And I, if I go by the bare minimum, this is a priest. He has a lasso. I fulfill the prompt, but I really want to flesh out this illustration and kind of give it a backstory and all that jazz. So why I'm actually drawing bulls' heads is because I want to make this guy more, I don't know what the word is, more... Uh, fleshed out but that's basically it so here we are so here's my sketch not sketch my reference if you want to draw along by the way there's a link to my pinterest where i have all these references pinned and Maybe we can do this together, or you can do it a bit later. I don't know where you can share the your own sketches with me. Uh, probably you can DM me on Instagram at the mark of art. As I think about maybe making a discord or, or whatever. So to begin. What I want to do is just as we started last time, just kind of squint our eyes and draw the main shape of the of this thing. 
the shapes that we can see and then we will refine them a bit later so as i do this maybe you can let me know in the chat how you're doing what time it is where you're watching from all that stuff Maybe you can, you can even tell me whether I'm audible or not, because today I'm not listening back to the stream. Because last time I had uh, so much feedback in my ear, such that I was pausing a lot because I was listening to myself speaking. So today is just me and the chat. Ooh, sorry, sorry, I forgot to do this. Yes, now, now we can, can listen and hear stuff. Hello, Watercolor Eve. Welcome to the stream. that the audio is good. So if it's okay with you guys, I can just draw. Unless you guys have a question or a comment you want me to respond to. stuff should be more refined in a bit. Hello Ed, the stream is a bit earlier today but not at 6 p.m. GMT plus 2. I thought I'd compromise with the time. And give you time to to unwind after work before I came upon your screen. I'm really hoping by the end of this I'd be able to draw the Minotaur's head a bit better than last time. And if you missed the stream last time, it's still up on my YouTube channel. You can catch it there. So this looks vaguely cow-like and let's refine it. So just turn down the opacity and it's time for the fun part. Maybe I can beef up the beef up, get it, beef up. <laughs> uh, okay, I can beef up the neck and then Maybe add the shoulder here. I think my eye is a bit bigger and low, which 
If this is the... Yeah. I should be closer to the horn. This should be somewhere over here. Technically above the ear ish. Somewhere there. I think. And then this jaw. Jaw can come here. And then the brow can be here. Other brow should be a bit further away. That's cool. So as I'm refining my drawing, I'm looking at the reference still. I'm not just relying on the sketch that I made. So that's why I, I'm turning, I'm not, not following the sketch religiously. It's more of a guide. Some things might change. confess that when I thought about my life in my 30s, drawing cows on the internet wasn't wasn't part of the of the vision. So this wonderful. I think the eye should be a bit smaller. Just as a reminder for anyone watching, uh, like the video, it really helps. It, it tells YouTube that there's, a, there's an audience for my content and now they push the content to other people. And if you have someone who might enjoy the stream, share it with them. And I will be so very grateful. Thank you, Eve. So 
I think I think we're done. It looks like the cow. What do you guys think? I think we're done with the first the first the first one and then let's group this and let's transform it. Oh, I had zoomed. I had zoomed, zoomed in. Okay. Put it over here. And then forget about it. For the guys who are interested in dimensions and stuff, I'm using... This canvas size is, is what? Gosh, it's 57, 60 pixels by 32, 40 pixels. So just a little over 4K. In case, in case anyone is interested in that information. So here we have our second bowl. This is difficult. This one is difficult. Hmm. Okay. So we thanks Ed. This one we what we do, what we do, what we do. Just stroughing in the shape of the neck. Cylindrical like so. We have a dew lap over here. Goes like that, and then the rest of the neck. Then the muzzle is square, square ish. And then the bridge of the I hesitate to call it a nose, but that's what it is. The bridge of the nose. And then this part of the eye. Then the ear over here. The ear over here. And then this other shape. Eye socket should be somewhere there. I'm just Feeling my way through. The eye socket is here. The jaw is over here. And I'm seeing this is a bit too. To what? Too close to this bit. Or maybe this is too large. Let's make this smaller. And the jaw comes like this. I suck it over there. And then the ear should be here. I think we might, I might try painting one at the end of the stream just to see where we are, maybe gauge our skills. But for this first uh, 30 minutes, I think we're just going to do some sketching.
as I'm doing this, you can see some things are changing. That's the good thing about having a sketch. You can, you're not married to so many things. And the other good thing about being on digital is resizing, resizing everything. Any fun facts you know about cows? Well, fun facts. I don't know if cows are fun. I don't know if they are fun. Uh, I know they are a lot of work because I've worked with them, on them, on them. What does on them mean? I've worked, I have worked with cows. I've milked, I've woke, woken up at six in the morning to milk a cow. Not my favorite uh, experience. Sleep, sleep is nice. Sleep is nice. Apparently, if you don't milk a cow, the milk uh, sort of ruins the cow's udders. So you have to express. Express. Express is such a human term. But you have to milk the cow. And you have to feed the cow. Because cows have like four stomachs and they eat quite a lot. And sustaining that appetite isn't the funnest thing in the world. Any other fun facts about cows? Uh, I don't know. Do you do you have any fun 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 facts about cows? You especially because you worked with them. You had a whole thesis on these things. You can let us know in the chat. So I might not have any fun facts about cows, but a fun fact about this, this stream and most of my videos is for like 20 minutes before I start filming, I put on music and at the top of my voice sing all the power ballads so <laughs> my voice can be warmed up for the stream. So as the stream was starting, the countdown they put was to like, make me mellow out from the, the high of singing Celine Dion, what is that song that makes me shout? Um, I'm forgetting, forgetting that song. Mm. I'm your lady. Your lady is a good, a very good song for opening up the vocals. So that's a fun fact about the stream. This looks vaguely cow-like. <laughs> Let's refine this. And let me let me try and take more time with this. I don't rush it. Again, I'm looking at the references. The reference as I am doing this. Line art is one of my weaknesses. So this stream is really helping. Because now I have an audience and I have to do this. So 
over here, I'm just indicating the folds. Yes, yes Eve, you studied cows. Let us know what you found. What about you, Ed? Do you have any fun stories about cows? Are there any any Egyptian cow cow gods or something? Because I don't remember seeing any of them. Any cow cow cow. Cows drink up to a hundred liters of water. Bath a whole bathtub of water. Yes, I know that. I, I I know that, but is it a fun fact? Uh, let's look at, let me look this up. Let me look this up. Fun facts about cows. So the first thing is 10 facts about dairy cattle. Let's see. Cows have a visual field of 330 degrees, almost an all-round view. They can see the colors yellow, green, and blue, whereas red is hard to see for them. Okay. 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 I, I was about to ask, like, how do they know they can see these colors? Like, did the cows tell them? And if red is hard for them to see, then what's what's with all the bullfighting people showing cows red red things? I don't I don't understand. I do not understand that. Pregnancy lasts nine months, just like with humans, cows only give milk when they have a calf. Mm. I think this is not a very viable source of information because cows cows can give milk like all year long, all year round. I know that because I had to do all these things. I had to milk a cow all year round, so so that, that doesn't make sense to me. Anyway. Let's move on. back to this one. Cows have a dry period, especially when they're about to calf. Okay. But when they do calf, they they have a really wet period. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. I do remember in high school we had to dissect a cow's eye. 
that was the I think that was one of the moments I discovered I don't really want to be a doctor it was gross it's gross very gross but prior to that I wanted to be a doctor like my whole life but that wasn't to be but Lucky for me, I still have to study anatomy or art, so is that lucky? I don't know. Ah yes, now I see the problem. Why this looks so weird. I gave gave him sorry. Is it a him? Yes, I gave him tiny ears. So looking at my reference you can see the ear does start from here. goes up to here and then the inside parts go like this
I'm curious. So if cows have four stomachs, do minotaurs have abs? Yes, they do. Are their four stomachs just compacted in there? What do they feed on? According to the myth, I think they fed on humans who were thrown into the labyrinth. They say they. I think he was fed on humans who were thrown in the labyrinth. Because I remember in the in the books I saw a lot of bones bones on the floor of the labyrinth as some people were trying to escape so I don't really know how many stomachs they have So, you'd have to ask the Greek historians about that. So here I'm just trying to add some indication of shadows in the folds of his skin. Ooh, too, too much. There's our second bull head. Let's make this a bit darker. Maybe something over here. forget about him so we have our third one let's try this one so since my main focus is the head going to try and ignore the body just for today so for this one once again I think I like working large and then resizing the image when it becomes too much, too much to handle. So for this one, again, looking at the major shapes of the animal and see that his jaw is in this angle and then curved like this and then something like so small snout then more of an angle like this and the forehead and then the where the horns are I forget what this part is called The, the thing thing where the horns 
I forget what it's called. The only thing I remember about cow anatomy from school is the dewlap, which is this fold of skin under the under the neck. So the lower jaw is right here. Dewlap. You can see it aligns sort of with this angle before it drops down. Then maybe we can think about the neck. Coming like this. Then, I don't know what this part is called, obviously. <laughs> and then the hump. Hump should be just behind the horn thing. And the horns are over here. Minotaurs have steroids in their caves, that's where they're, that's why they are so jacked. I would like to think so because there's no way, there's no way they could look like that all the time. Unless they were eating Olympians. Have a steady source of protein. Are minotaurs wild or do they have like a brain? Of course they have a brain, but do they have like a... Do they think? Are they sentient? Or do they, are they just creatures of rage? I don't know. Something I'm exploring. I did do a bit of trying to tell the story that I'm trying to illustrate. And I came up with uh, this, which I hope no one steals. <laughs> but if they do, you heard it here first. There's a record, there's a record. Uh, there's a secret order of priests trained in i don't know i don't i don't want to say the himalayas because that's where every, everyone is trained they've been training for or stuff or demon slaying if that's a real thing exorcisms and stuff they go through this regimen of picking up uh like rock climb mountain climbing everything Mulan does basically and then they have this mystical weapons they're given when they deem themselves worthy or whatever and then they're deployed to different like churches and cathedrals and stuff so this guy this priest guy my my character is uh one of the best the best of the best the one of the best that academy has ever produced but he did something wrong once and he was sent to a place where he can he can't really use his training or his abilities so he's, he's like banished to this place which as a civilian you can you can say it's not bad 
it's a place without any demonic activity, then it must be good. But this guy has been training all his life so that he can be a demon slayer. And then he's not given the, the chance to do what he's good at, what he wants, what he wants to do. And he feels like he's in a prison, which he might be because there's magic in this thing and he did something wrong. Let's say the cathedral he's at is it's under this dome or something that he can't break free of until one day this guy walks into his church and it's acting weird. Now remember this guy hasn't hasn't done anything. Like the priest hasn't done anything in like three, four years. He's just been there. Like just taking care of the church and stuff. But this guy comes in and is acting funny. Turns out because he's such a big deal or was such a big deal, there's a entity in the person that wants to test his strength because he's like cut through like 60 priests so far now he's bored and wants to go for the best so in doing so the minotaur demon dude kind of broke the barrier by walking into this guy's church and after after is it after I don't know. The illustration is them fighting. So maybe after the fight, as my priest dude will obviously win. I'm just giving you spoilers. <laughs> will obviously win because he's, he's my dude. So after the fight, the barrier is broken. And this guy finds out that the order that he devoted his life to but he's been in exile over he's secretly working with the demon dudes so he has to turn back turn uh, away from everything he knows and basically fight everyone I don't know Something like that. It's not refined, but it's something like that. And let me see. Let me try and make this. Just try and pull this little inside so he doesn't look like a horse. So I don't know how many people are watching, but let me know if that's a story you'd like to read. It's basically just something I came up with today. Because I, I know I need a story about what it is I am doing. So let me see the chat. This reminds me of that weird bodybuilding guy on TikTok, eating brains and raw liver. <laughs> Ah, uh, Liver King. Yes, it's Liver King. Liver King looks like he needs to drink some water. It feels like anything, anything that like cuts his skin and he's done, dead. All all the veins just spill out the blood. But I'm not being violent, YouTube. I'm just saying that's that's what he looks like. That's him, he's always shouting and cooking odd organs. Well, Eve, he doesn't really cook them. His private chef cooks them sometimes. But most times he just, he claims he eats them raw.
from coming up with the story today, I sort of thought this stupid prompt, by the way, could become like a comic or something. Ah, if only I knew how to draw. I'm scared of drawing environments. But I know I can. I know I can. I can do I can do anything. If I can draw cows on the internet proudly. <laughs> I can I can draw a decent church. At the very least I can trace. just dark in some of these areas. shadow. Oops. So there we have our third guy. So, so far we've done these. three. So 
Let's try something else. You know what? Maybe I'll let you guys choose. Whoever is online currently, let me know which cow you want us to spend the rest of our time on. Hi Sharon. Welcome to the stream. How are you? So just a moment guys, um, okay, so let me know the cow you want, the next one, this one, the hairy one, please say no, <laughs> I've done this one already, uh, okay, there's this one. Is this one? I think we've done this one. No, it just has a similar vibe to the other one. There's this one. Let me know. Let me know the one you want. And there's this. I think this is a painting of a bull. There's Ferdinand over here. <laughs> so let me know. Let me know which one you like the most. Please say no. <laughs> wow. Why did I do this to myself? Anyway. Hi, Edwin. These are the options. Let me, maybe let me maximize the window. Oops. I already painted this, no, sketched this, and this, and this, no, this. So here are our remaining bull examples. So number one is this one. Number two, we have this one. Which is sort of similar to the other one, but it's your choice. Number three, number four, which is a painting. Number five, oh gosh, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. So the nine are our our options. So let me know. Number one. <laughs> I saw number one. <clears throat> okay, that's one for number one. Anyone else? Anyone else? All of them are mighty challenging to draw, but we'll see. See what you decide. So that's one for number one. 
Anyone else? Eve, Sharon, Ed. Not Edwin, Ed. Number six, number seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is six. And this is seven. Okay. <laughs> one, six, seven. So let me do this. I'm going with seven because it's my favorite number. It's not my favorite cow. <laughs> it's my favorite number. So, ah, yeah, sour, sour, sour. Just decrease the window like so. Jesus, take the wheel. There's no, I don't, I don't know. Okay, fine. You can, you can decide amongst yourselves for like a minute. Which one do you like between one One, six, and seven. One, six, and seven. One, six, seven. Okay. Here are the contenders. Number seven from Edwin. Anyone else for any other number? Seven. Okay. And Sharon. Why don't you tell us what cow this is? Is it a zebu or no, it's not a zebu? Angus, Jersey, Freshian, Freshian, Freshian. Okay. Again, I'm starting with the face. Be just finding the figure, sketching, sketching out the thing. I 
thought Eve would know. Sir. An Angus. Aberdeen Angus. Okay. Educate the people, Eve. Educate the people. This is too close, sorry, too close to somewhere there. And the ear should be here. of the body. Hey Club coming soon. There's my sketch. I think that's okay-ish. It's time for the refined bit. Maybe I can take this a bit closer there. Somewhere there, 
and there's this shadow and the shoulder is over here And so because it's like enclosed by our, our frame, can do something like that, maybe stroke. should have done that on a different layer edit stroke okay so on top of this we can do our refined sketch mm -hmm. Let's start with here An Aberdeen Angus bull weighs up to 850 kilos at maturity. Okay. It's a lot of meat. But I feel most of that is the stomach, stomach weight. The uh, what's it called? The awful innards. I think that's half of the weight of any animal is the stomach contents. Especially herbivores. Weird saying herbivores. Cause I grew up saying herbivores. But apparently it's her her herbs. Herbs and spices. I don't know what the H is there for. I'm not looking forward to is drawing the lashes. Cows have really long lashes. And I can see this one's in the reference, even without like zooming in. Again, I should mention if you're drawing along or if you want to draw along, I have pinned these references on my Pinterest and the link is in the description below.
does have amazing lashes though, yes they do. Yes they do, cows and I think elephants as well. They think this part of my cow is way off. Let me just do some Photoshop magic and move it just a tiny bit. Something like so. And because I wanted to paint this. Going to do this. Select the cow. I'm using the lasso tool. Sorry. was a lot. Let me see. Let's refine some of this. So essentially what I want to do is just fill this with that, but apparently it's the best fill in the world. So let me just not do that. I was on the wrong layer <laughs> anyway. So do it traditionally. They should zoom out.
there's a bull with a bit of value. So now we want to add, let's clip this layer to this one first and set it to multiply. We add the shadows. Shadows to it. Looking good. Thank you, Eve. It's the tricky part. Ah, let's see if it still looks good. There's something about painting. Like when you when you start or when I start, it feels like end of the world because this is the ugly stage and I feel like most of what I paint has to go through the ugly stage or it becomes something worth telling people about anyway I can see the light is coming from this side this direction so most of this part of the bowl should be in shadow. Hmm. Maybe I can do something. Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. Just delete that, add a new, sorry, adjustment. Because we're talking about shadows, let me use the exposure, dip it, and then make it dark like this. So that now in this mask, let me invert that. Then with white selected, I can come and reveal the shadow. Shadows. And of course I can make it darker whenever I want. And lighter as well. Let's see if this hack will help. And then of course after doing most of this we'll come in and add some highlights again. This was a shadow shape. There's a shadow shape here. This is all in shadow. And I'm really regret regretting choosing number seven. Thanks guys. Thank you very much. I basically want to hit all the areas that are really, really black. That we see as black. And it's really in the ugly stage now.
with the adjustment layer. The good thing about this is you can make it as dark as it, or as light as you want it. For the horns, I can make it some dark areas over here not that dark but they are there and this is typically where I give up This is the end. I should mention that I'm also challenging myself to use just one brush. So I'm using the Pastel C from Iron Blaze. Something like that. Looks like the ugliest guy I've ever seen. Anyway, new exposure layer. Clip it. And I want this one for the highlights so that means these areas where the sun is hitting will modify some some of the shadows as well so there's some light hitting the horns in this direction. It's actually good. It's so kind of you to say. Thank you. of light over here. So I really want to erase some of these shadows. And to erase anything in a mask, you just paint with white, with black. And if you want to reveal it, you paint with white. So to decrease some shadows, I'm painting with black so that I hide it.
there's a bit of bounce light on this on this other side. Don't know how that's looking. Looks strange. Looks looks really really strange. save this I don't know I don't know but the good thing is we have done wow this with there's much more that can be done just not sure if I can do it right now Wing off topic why do you like horror stories oh why why do I like horror stories I don't know I think horror is fun it's very underappreciated. It's uh, uh, for me, I think horror is the most accurate thing, or most the genre that most accurately depicts real life in a way. Because romance novels are all the same; they just Two people meet, they have a good time, they like each other, something happens, a stupid miscommunication, and then their friends tell them they're being stupid, and then they come together at the end, and then they leave happily ever after. That's a plot of any romance movie. Uh, action movies are more or less the same. Jason Bourne, Bourne Identity, Mission Impossible. Something, just something to... Things that can never happen or things that might happen in real life, but not this you can't really relate to because when you do ever find a bomb in your bag and then you have to trace the bomb back to Australia using your limited skills or your very highly specialized skills. We are not all FBI agents. Horror though, uh, people can be scared. Everyone can be scared. And horror is basically spiritual stuff and spiritual stuff is real regardless of what you believe and yeah if anyone can be haunted uh, that's, that's not the best thing to say <laughs> but yeah I think I think horror is it's just a lovely genre that you can scare yourself with and be thankful that you don't live or you've never met it or the Babadook or whatever. Yeah, and it's fun to be demented sometimes. It's fun to scare people. That's why I like horror stories. So this is our weird painting. I think with a little bit more time, 
I could actually make it a thing. Let's put it over here. Let's put this one over here. So those are our studies for the day. I did some more during the day as a warm up. And if you'd like to see those, they're right here. So you see what I was saying is if I had a bit more time, I could do something like this. This was, which bull was this? This one, number three. This is the reference. This is what I did. Like two, three hours ago. I think I'm just, I have nerves because I'm drawing, I was drawing live. Otherwise, these are our studies for the day. So next time, next week, hopefully I will have drawn the Minotaur already and we can work on the, the story and the placing of characters in a scene. So if you'd like to join me for that, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining me in this stream. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for your suggestions. And before you leave, uh, make sure you like the video. And I don't know. Tell, tell your friends about <laughs> the next week. I'll be streaming on Thursdays at 8 p.m. I find it's uh, probably a good time to stream. And... Uh, what else? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, I hope to see you next week. And have a very lovely evening and a very wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see you next time. So two thumbs up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.